In this video, what we're going to do is look at an analog output from a MicroLogic 1400 using RS Logics 500. And I'm already online with my processor. So what I'm going to do is open up my output data table file. The analog output that I'm going to use is tied to output 0.4. And we're going to control that entire word so we can control what's happening or what the signal the PLC is going to send out to some field device like a VFD or some type of uh, flow valve or any other analog device that requires an analog output from a PLC. Right now, we ha I have gone and put my radex at decimal because that's the easiest way to interpret what values coming out. Now with the MicroLogic uh, 1400, the resolution is 0 to 4095. And that will send out a signal from 0 to 10 volts. So I went ahead and I set up a 0 to 10 volt analog meter so you can see how we control this. So let me give you an example here. So right now I have 0 here and I have zero volts on my analog meter. If I come in and I type in 4095 and hit enter, my analog voltmeter shoots over to 10 volts. That PLC is, my MicroLogic 1400, is now sending out a 10 volt signal. And if I want to send out a five volt signal, to my device, I would put half of that in. So I will put in 2048, which is roughly half of the 4095. And you can see that my voltmeter is pretty darn close to 5 volts. Okay, halfway between the four and the six. And this is how we can control this. So now, for example, let's say I wanted to give about a quarter of 10 volts or 2.5 volts. I would come in here and type in 1024, hit enter, and I'm roughly at about two and a half volts. If I wanted to go to seven and a half volts, I would go to 3071 and hit enter. And I'm roughly at around Seven between the seven uh, between the six and the eight uh, on that on my analog meter. Okay, and this is a little bit about how we can use a PLC to control something that is zero to ten volts. Now there are two common signals out there in an analog in the analog realm. There's zero to ten volts, and the most popular is for to 20 milliamps. The MicroLogic 1400 isn't capable of interpreting that. Uh, 4 to 20 milliamps directly and or sending it out so we actually go ahead and use the 0 to 10 volts to show you kind of how the analog works so now the question is is well how can I control this with a PLC I can't have somebody in here just typing these values in manually to get the 10 volts whatever that mean whatever that needs to represent um, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up a simple program to give you an example of how we can do that in RS Logics 500. Okay, so now let's take a look at how we can control an analog output using an instruction in RS Logics 500. So what I've done is I've set up three move instructions here and you notice that they're all going to the same destination. And I've stored values that will represent voltage from the PLC in some integer files here. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to toggle this first bit and I, ha I put 1500 into the output. Okay, and as you can see the analog out the analog output has sent a voltage out to the meter let's say this is a vfd and when you're at 1500 you're sending out a signal that will make the vfd run at 40 hertz okay then i uh, come here um, toggle toggle this now we're we're sending we have 2800 being sent to the analog data table file for the output and the voltage has changed coming out of the PLC so let's say now this represents the motor going at 90 Hertz okay that's the signal uh, the VFD will interpret and turn that into uh, 90 Hertz then I come here I'm going to uh, toggle this bit now I'm sending 3500 and let's say this represents 120 Hertz 
okay and now I have the ability to control a VFD via a PLC in the PLC program and I can control three different speeds of that so let's say for some products the uh, mixer needs we have a mixer that needs to run this fast then if we have another mixer we have another batch that has to run at a different speed or if we have a third batch that needs to run at a separate speed we can have the operator control these with some basic with a touch screen or with just some interlocking uh, switches I've just done this with some B3s that I can toggle and this is a quick introduction into how an analog signal works now depending on the PLC you have depending on the devices that you're attempting to control these values can change and some of the different scale to parameter functions that are out there can change but this is just a real quick introduction into how an analog output can be controlled by a PLC via RSLogix 500. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.